Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping into Higher Frequencies Portal, First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do a general reading for you, beloveds. Uh, well, everything is everything on your side of the planet, because everything is everything on minds. We're going to take a little peeky peek, see what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on with you, beautiful souls. If you are new here, as I said, my name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I am also Claire audience. So during my reading, you will hear music. You'll hear me referencing songs and the way that it works, the name of the song, lyrics within the song, maybe maybe even the timestamp on the clock here. It will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards will be showing. And it all just blends beautifully. So my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones, meaning if the reading doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force anything to be your story. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, your rising, your Venus, Mercury, your Mars. Check your natal chart, period, so that you could get a more in-depth understanding of who you are. My readings are also timeless. So whenever this video has found you, that was divine timing and in divine order that you've done so beloveds so without further ado we're going to dive right in proceed with the read i am going to go ahead pay some house do some house cleaning you know so let's go ahead and do that and then we shall proceed with the read ashe I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light, I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless us with the intuit, intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Asheo. So first thing that came to mind was just be mindful of distractions because I got a little tongue twisted on that last part of my prayer. So the time right now is 620. That reduces to 8. So 8 is the number of the strength card. 8 is also a number of karma. When you think of what goes around, comes around, it's like the infinity symbol. So karma. So I do feel like maybe there's someone that could potentially be coming back um, from your past. That could be a distraction because I did get a little tongue twisted. What now? What we have playing right now is Abi Okai. And the name of this song is called Running. So maybe this is like a runner chaser type of situation. Maybe you're dealing with someone that you felt you were chasing. And if you ever chase after someone, the natural reaction for someone being chased is to run. So you don't chase after anything. It's like you you attract it, you know, and let whatever it is you're attracting, um, you know, come towards you. But you never chase, you know. So if you are chasing someone, if, if you feel like you've been chasing after someone, um, and maybe you've given up chasing after someone. Maybe someone has been chasing after you. Whatever the case with that number eight, I do feel like spirit is saying that there could have potentially been some sort of karmic dynamic, a runner chaser type of situation. You may have felt like you've chasing after someone. Um, but maintain uh, your strength, maintain self-respect. All right. So let's tap in. So let's see what we got. Put this back. So what we have on the bottom of the deck is we have financial discipline. This is number 48 that reduces to 12. So I do feel like spirit is telling you like to take some time to perhaps like, you know, plan and prepare some sort of action that you are to take. Um, maybe you're working on something very diligently. Maybe you are really, um, building some really dope partnerships or some alliances with folks you're working to you know very tediously and diligently on something and this something is going to bring about success and victories it's 444 on the clock right now so i do feel like this is something that spirit has aligned you with or spirit is assigning you some sort of role or something that you are called to do destined to do we have um change on me and this is by a 
with Xavier Omar. So remember when I was saying I was feeling like a karmic was uh, trying to distract you. And so this person may come back and be like, damn, you done changed on me. Like you done switched up. You're not, you're not the same. And nobody's supposed to be the same. Whatever isn't growing, it's dead. So if you're not growing as a person, if you're the same person you was when you was 15, 20 years old, then you're not growing. You're just sitting there and time is just you know, kind of dropping off the calendar. So it's like, we're all supposed to evolve. You know, that is, that's what life is about. You know, it's the evolution. Uh, so I do feel like, you know, with this energy, with that three of pentacles, uh, this also could, you know, insinuate that there could have been some sort of third party situation or something triangular where it wasn't just you with someone. Maybe you found out there was another person involved and maybe someone felt that about you. Um, that could have been why you felt like you were running after someone because they had other options. So they weren't going to make themselves available if they had other options that were interested. They had other people that they were um, giving their time and attention to. So let's see what we have on the split. We obviously see that you have changed, that you've you've evolved uh, because someone is going to tell you like, dang, you done changed up on me. So what we have now is three and then we have this three. So three and three is six. So that really shows that you really need to trust your intuition. That's what I was getting earlier is like trust your intuition because someone may come back distracting you because I did get a little tongue twisted on my prayer. Someone sees you now. It's almost like they see you in your divine femininity, divine masculinity. Like you have like leveled up, you've evolved, you've grown. Um, they see you in a new light. You know, because this three is like the energy of the empress. This also shows that you are now standing in your power. You've healed from past traumas or you've healed from something in your past. Like you've taken the time to heal at a soul level. You've taken the time to even take onus and accountability for whatever, for whatever may have occurred. Because um, this yellow is just showing, you know, that's the color of the sun. The sun is a life force. The sun is also speaking to vitality and strength. It's also speaking to something something new, but I also feel someone has had an epiphany or someone has come to some sort of uh, realization, like they see you in your true light. Uh, I do feel like you will be attracting someone in your likeness, being as though these are both threes. Uh, six is definitely encouraging you to trust your intuition. This can be someone from your past, absolutely, because I'm also getting like the six of cups, which is usually someone from your past returning or someone having like these nostalgic thoughts, feelings or emotions. Uh, but spirit is obviously telling you trust your intuition because that six is also associated with the first die. The six is also the love. So this could also be you coming into harmony, into balance, into equilibrium with yourself, masculine and feminine, you know, finding that balance. So let's see. Let's tap in. My spirit, what messages do you have for my beloved Pisces spirit? Let me get a message of peace, power and protection for my beloved Pisces. Thank you, spirit. And I just saw eight oh eight sixteen. That's seven. So that seven is definitely telling me someone's rushing in. That seven is also associated with the crown. So I do feel like you have learned a lot, like you've grown personally, you're in alignment, mind, body and soul. You know, I just get a sense of you like now trusting your own intuition, not following what people are saying, but looking at actions. So it's like you're using your discernment now. So what we have is synchronicity here, and this is 87 that breaks down to 15, which is six. So there can be someone you have some dope chemistry with synergy, chemistry. You know, this is someone like, you know, that's like that lovers I was picking up on, uh, twin flame, the yin to your yang, yang to your yin, cosmic companion, someone you could have even met or bumped into in a former life. Uh, this six is showing that there you, you and this person have a lot of commonalities. There's a lot of thoughts. You know, I just get a lot of cerebral activity as well. Uh, with the pink on the symbol here, I do feel someone's heart is opened. That six, as I said, is like the lovers. So the lovers is really, you know, a, a divine union or a divine partnership. With this synchronicity, you could be seeing 888-777-666. Some of you all, this could be your life path number, life path number eight, life path number seven, life path number six. You could have been born perhaps on February, um, you know, 26th, uh, February um, 25th, you know, like you could have been born on one of those days, February 24th even. Because those are like, because I'm getting for Pisces, those are 
uh, the birth dates, the solar return dates for those days. But I do feel like maybe you're just seeing a lot of synchronicities. Maybe you're having, um, you know, some sort of dream activity. It's like lucid dreams. Maybe you're thinking of something. And when you think of it, you look at your phone, boom, uh, an advertisement about it. Or when you speak of something, you look at your... Um, you go to your YouTube and there's a video talking about what you was just thinking about. It's a lot of synchronicities is what I'm getting. Maybe you're finding feathers. Maybe you're bumping into the same animal totems. Maybe you're hearing the same song. But it's like there's a lot of synchronized events. Pay attention to that. And also pay attention to the time that you are having those synchronicities. Maybe you're seeing those numbers, as I said. And that is spirit communicating with you. What we have on the bottom of the deck is we have 37 time out. So I do feel like spirit is saying like whoever you're attracting to you, this is someone you could have put on time out. I was picking up a karmic early. I was picking up someone that you left alone because there could have possibly been like third party shenanigans or someone that had you in some sort of triangular situation where they were kind of breadcrumbing or not giving you the time, the attention, or wasn't even appreciating or valuing you the way that you deserved. So you put someone on time out. You know, because it's 37, that's 10. So 10s are always derivative of an ending. But every ending, that 10 now reduced to 1. So that's like a new beginning. You're moving forward passionately, powerfully, confidently even. And someone becoming more attracted to you because of it. This yellow is the same color of that creativity card that we saw. And so that shows that someone sees that you've grown spiritually or you've reached that level of self-mastery. You have a deeper, more profound understanding of yourself. You have a deeper, more profound understanding of the world and you're navigating it. But I do see now like you're not backing down. You're going after what you want. And someone sees that and realizes that. I feel like that time out has also led to you being more confident in yourself. As I said, you've grown personally. You're also more assertive now because this six and this one become seven. So I'm seeing like that chariot. So you found balance, just as I said, mind, body, and soul, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, you're in alignment. So now you can take action. You can move forward. And there is, you know, a triumphant outcome. I definitely feel like this triumphant success. What we have playing right now is we have average white band, and this is called a love of your own. So I do feel like now because you've healed thyself and you love thyself, you know thyself. So you now can set boundaries and your boundaries are you have to speak my love language or you gets nothing. You gets no time, you gets no, none of my attention, nothing. So it's like now you're attracting a love of your own because you're confident. And that when you think of the chariot, there is a, a, a black and a white horse in the traditional tarot, tarot deck. There's a black horse and a white horse. And that usually speaks to duality or that speaks to that yin yang energy that feminine and masculine that's that energy of like attracting someone in your likeness so you're going to attract a love of your own so if it's a love of your own that means this is not someone that's going to be going out and and giving the d or giving the p to somebody else this is someone that's going to be very intentional with you going to be devoted going to be faithful loyal trustworthy honest communicative to you so this is beautiful so that's that seven that i'm getting also is just showing personal growth you know, showing that someone has grown, either you or this person have both grown. So let's tap in. So who is this person that our beloved Pisces are attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. And we have Michael Jackson, Billy Jean. Someone could be dealing with someone named Michael Jackson, first, middle, or last. Or someone named Billy or Jean, first, middle, or last. And what we have right here is love partnership. So you're attracting someone that's definitely uh, coming in that's going to be... Um, you know, expressing some sort of love. This eight is showing like this is someone that could potentially be walking away from another person. This is also that karmic energy because I was getting with that eight earlier that we saw. And in the song, the look, the lyrics of Michael's song is Billie Jean is not my lover. She's just the girl who thinks that I am the one. But the kid is not my son. So maybe someone that she was dealing with, a karmic, could have went and got someone um, pregnant. Maybe found out about a baby and you you know, may have um, thought that someone that you were with got someone else pregnant. Maybe someone had a baby out of wedlock or someone had a baby behind your back. And now this person is returning, coming back, you know, because wherever they went, they're realizing that, you know, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. You know, this is someone that's definitely like when they come back, they're going to see that you've changed because we had Xavier Omar saying, you know, um, you've changed. 
you know so this person is going to be coming back because what you're you know what you're who you're attracting to you who or what is a love partnership that eight always makes me think of like the eight of cups so this is someone either that you've walked away from or will walk away from or someone that has walked away from you or walked away from another person and this reduces to 14 which reduces to five so don't be surprised if this person reaches out communicates with you because the five deals with the throat chakra and this is a blue card so i do feel like someone is going to probably either you know express something to you in terms of like yo that baby wasn't mine we did a dna test you know if you did find out that someone you know was creeping and cheating and someone was pregnant they're going to find out that the baby wasn't theirs or this person is going to pro confess or profess that that child wasn't theirs but there's still you know the, the elephant you know the pink elephant like you know you were still creeping so it's like you you got to choose and decide remember i was picking up like a distraction and what we have on the bottom of the deck is 57 teaching and learning this is how someone feels about you about to pull the card for how this person feels so this person definitely has been learning from you I was getting a sense of you like reaching that level of self-mastery and growing personally and evolving. And so now they see you in your divine femininity. That 57 breaks down to 12. It's like they've taken the necessary time to assess and look at you, look at things from a different perspective. That's the hangman, the number 12. So this person now sees the error in their ways or maybe they realize that you've changed and you're moving on, you know, because you could be moving on, walking away, you know, moving on to bigger and better. You know, this is like positive movements forward. And with this 57, it's like someone is learning from you, perhaps, you know, taking a page out of your book, seeing you as someone that's, um, you know, that's evolved, that's, you know, leveled up in some aspect, someone wise, someone mature. You could have known this person from childhood. So uh, how does this person that I beloved Pisces are uh, attracting to them feel? about Pisces how does this person our beloved Pisces are attracting to them so 44 shows that you know this person as I said eight that's again showing that this is someone that's a karmic they see you as a wish fulfillment they definitely see that you've been healing growing evolving you could be coming into union with someone that is your divine counterpart because double numbers always make me feel like that's someone you're attracting to you that's on the same frequency and vibration and we did get that energy of like synergy and chemistry you know someone that's coming in your likeness and it doesn't get any more like than you know the double numbers so as i said i always liken double numbers to someone you're attracting so how this person feels is that you've you know come into union with someone that's like you know a dream come true a wish fulfillment this environment shows that you uh have absolutely been healing this green shows you know your heart has been you know healed from past pains wounds and traumas someone stressing and agonizing over you the seven one always makes me feel like you know the eight of swords so someone's definitely up in their head you know this is someone that was deceiving themselves because eight and eight is 16 that's seven so this person was deceiving themselves self-sabotage you know maybe they were very egoic or proud you know they didn't give you your flowers when they should have and now that you have evolved because this eight eight is 16 that's seven that's like you now being more confident more you know assertive you speak in your truth you stand in your ground and you're also very protective so you're in a protective bubble and you've moved away to create a sacred space and you are now attracting someone in your likeness you know, you attract what you are now and that you being as though you've healed Pisces. Now you're attracting someone who's also healed. Someone who's emotionally mature, emotionally intelligent, same as you. And someone whose heart is open and is ready for love. This person, how they feel about you is definitely like, you know, they see you now as a wish fulfillment. They're stressing and agonizing because they feel like they've lost you. There's a lot of eights here. So just as I said, you could be seeing 888. You know, you could be seeing 777. We are um, in the 777 portal. We just had 777 last Friday. This Sunday, it's going to be 716. So that's 777 again. And then you're going to have 725, which is the last 777 portal of this month. So use this energy to manifest, you know. And what we have on the bottom of the deck is 78 spiritual career. This is going to be, we're pulling the card for what's hidden. So some of you all are absolutely tapped and tuned in, just as I said, very, very psychic. You know, I, I seen that with this purple, you know, that deals with the crown. 
So I do feel like, you know, you've learned a lot and you've more importantly have learned to be more obedient. Like you learn to be more obedient to spirit or learn to be more obedient to your intuition, like trusting your intuition. And this leads to some sort of spiritual career. Uh, Pisces, Scorpios, and Cancers are naturally very intuitive signs. We are water signs. So it's like you're naturally intuitive. So whatever your gift is, whether that be music, whether that be writing, whether that be in the arts, whether whatever creative gifts you have, hone those skills, gifts and talents, you know, hone them because you have a spiritual career. You know, it's like you've been ordained or you've been, uh, you know, it's like you are coming into alignment with something you are called to do. So your cards came out. There's a bunch of them. We got two patients. So I'm getting good things take time to create. Also be mindful of someone manipulating your energy because this is also like the number of the high priest, high priestess. So this could be someone like manipulating your energy or trying to do some sort of psychic attack. So use your intuition. Trust your intuition because something could be hidden. So what flew out, didn't I say someone was egoic, hard-headed, stubborn, thick-headed. So they're having an ego death. And it's because they have watched you like, you know, evolve, transform, change right before their eyes. They're learning from you. They're also learning that it doesn't help them very much to put on this facade. This is really a facade. Didn't I mention the number six, the lovers? So this is what's hidden is like you are definitely attracting someone that could be like the yin to your yang, yang to your yin, a cosmic companion. This could even be someone that's from a past life, but you're attracting someone. And this someone is someone uh, very special. This 56 says relationship change. So if you are currently single, you will not be for much longer. Remember, you also have love partnership for what you, who you're attracting to you. So this person is coming in very intentional. It's almost like they're having an ego death. They're putting this pride to the side and they're going to express something that they may have been, you know, kind of suppressing or holding back because that one and that six, that reduces to seven. So this is someone finally like, you know, asserting themselves or finally, you know, taking some sort of action. You know, maybe someone feels like they put a lot of time and energy into something and it didn't lead to, to you know, it didn't lead them where they initially envisioned. And so now they're putting their pride to the side and maybe they're going to shoot their shot because they do see you as like a wish fulfillment because this is nine. Now you got 19, six and 56 that reduces to nine because 19 is one, six is seven. And that's seven and it's 56, that's 11. So that's two, so that's nine. So they see you as single, independent, self-sufficient. Most of you are single Pisces and that you won't be for much longer because someone is really coming in intentionally. With that six, that's like a union, a love partnership, a spiritual connection, a spiritual union and this nine, nine compassion. So both of you have learned to be more forgiving. You've learned to, you know, that most importantly, forgiveness is for you, but you've also learned, you know, by taking the necessary time out. Remember, we saw that time out card to really work on yourselves. And when you work on yourself, you don't fault blame. You don't point fingers. You forgive because you realize we're all imperfect. And that's why this patience is here because good things take time to create. And it does take time to create because you have to learn to love yourself. That's an inside job. So when you're stuck in, you know, karmic relationships where there's a lot of cheating, creeping, backstabbing, deception, betrayals, it's like that almost displays, um, you know, especially if you stay in that, that, that that's a show of, of a lack of self-love. And so when you walk away from said relationships and work on yourself and heal thyself, then that shows that you are aware of your worth. You are aware of your value, what you deserve. And so that's why this patience is here because good things take time to create. It's also important for you to work on yourself, learn to fill your own cup and not be codependent, you know, of someone else. So that's what I feel both you and the person you are attracting because that nine deals with the hermit. So this is about going within, that's doing reflective work, introspection, that's self-analysis, self-awareness, and ultimately coming to self-determination, self-realization. So this is powerful energy. That's what's hidden. So what's the outcome for my beloved Pisces? Let me get a message. Thank you, Spirit. You got a lot of messages. Got 14, moderation. That's the same as change. Remember, we thought we heard that in the beginning. Right now we have um 
Toby Nwigwi, and this is Caged Birds. I know I'd be chopping up his last myth, his last name, but Caged Birds. So someone definitely was feeling stuck. Someone was definitely feeling imprisoned. They was stuck in a situation. And what we have here is nine, 91. And remember, we pulled 19. So these are the same cards, just flipped. So this is mirroring again, yet again. So someone... Uh, is finally surrendering. When you surrender, that's like you're relinquishing the need to control. You're not even controlling the narratives that are going around. You're just giving, you know, letting go and letting the most high take the wheel and trusting. So someone was a caged bird and, and birds really are um, symbolic of like air energy. Birds also uh, symbolize, you know, like messages from spirits, from angels. And if someone is caged, that means they're imprisoned. And that's more so imprisoned in the mind. So they could have been gaslighting. They could have been lies. They could have been mind uckery. They could have been trickery. So I do feel like now someone is surrendering, you know, or someone has surrendered because this is the outcome. It's like surrendering from, you know, the, the negative self-talk or surrendering from the need to control and just letting the most high take the wheel. Next, we have music. So this is telling me to listen to the song yet again. So someone is freeing themselves because we got five and one and that's six and that's like positive movements forward. I'm seeing like the six of swords. So this is creating like a sacred space, a safe space, a sanctuary, a protective bubble moving away from the nonsense. So someone's being left behind. Even if it's an old way of thinking, being, doing things, it's like you're leaving that behind. Hence, moderations, because that speaks to change. 14 is uh, reduces to five. So that five is all about that five is all about like the hierophant and the hierophant is tutelage, it's scholarly energy, it's learning, it's building your wealth of knowledge, it's building your skill set. You know, you could be sitting at the feet of an elder, a master teacher, a pastor preacher, you know, maybe even someone in your family, a matriarch or patriarch, but you're soaking up game. You're, you're, it's food for so, for your soul. It's, it's fruits of knowledge and you're learning and you're building and you're growing from that. You could even be honing your own skills, gifts and talents, hence that spiritual career card showing up but this is where you've developed or discovered that you had said gifts through this process of healing because you turned your pain into power this also can speak to like marriage in your future because that hierophant is about institutions as well next we have 11 individuality so didn't i say you had to release yourself from like codependency toxic relationships volatile situations we have rebirth so this is a change a transformation this is like that that personal growth that i said it's like you've gone through enormous change which has triggered and encouraged this this change this this you know this transformation that you're in you're um experiencing right now so that's beautiful i love that so let's clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up divine spirit so we have Conway the Machine. This is called Front Lines. So I definitely feel like you've been on the front lines, which means like you have not been like backing down. You haven't been hiding. You've been standing your ground and you've been putting in the footwork and you've been making the change happen. So what we have in the bottom of the deck, we have order and peace. So that's exactly why we have front lines, because you have been pursuing this. This is something that has been very important, is to obtain this order and this peace. Positive energy activates constant elevation. So now you have that by remaining positive, by remaining optimistic, hopeful, by stepping out on faith. This is what's providing the order. That's why you see all these synchronicities, because it's like that spirit's way. That's divine intervention. That's their way of confirming you know, that you're on the right path, that you're doing the right things. So what we have next is righteousness. See that? So you remain righteous, just in your actions. Therefore, there will be you getting your just due based off of the seeds that you've sowed in the past. So you reap what you sow, literally and figuratively. So this is beautiful. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages do you have for my beloved Pisces? We're going to clarify these messages and then we're going to right out. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Why is this 87 synchronicity here for my beloved uh, Pisces for the overall energy? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for my beloved Pisces spirit. And I take the ones that jump out. Thank you, spirit. And we got a jumper. And so what we have here is it says resentment. <laughs> I can't make this up. Someone resents you. Remember that karmic, that number eight that I was picking up on, that set? So this is a karmic. 
I can't make this up. Someone resents you. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. Remember this 87 breaks down to 15 at 6. That's your first eye. Use discernment. That's what I was telling you when I first got it because I was tripping up on my prayer in the beginning of the reading. That's a distraction. This person is trying to figure out a way to shoot their shot. You see he's like shooting this shot. You know, and spirit is going to send you some signs and synchronicities. This could be like, you know, little, little nudges, little things that happen that it's, it's like, it's no such thing as coincidences. There's no such thing as accidents. This is like, this is spirit intervening, showing you the signs, showing you the synchronicities. And with the front lines, you know, you got to keep your head on the swivel because you, you are the, the, the front line of um, security, especially when it comes to your own life, when it comes to your own well-being. So what we have here is healing on the bottom of the deck. And we are about to pull the card for who you're attracting to you. And it says 26, love partnership. So this can be someone coming in. This could be like a wish fulfillment. That eight always gives me an energy of like a wish fulfillment. So I feel like this is someone that has been healing or they are currently healing. This is the number 33. 33 breaks down to six. And that also is your first eye. That's also the number of the love, lovers. And this came out in your what's hidden so what you don't realize is someone that is really um you know someone very genuine is definitely coming in this person is doing the work necessary i was picking up on synergy and chemistry and maybe even like a past life love or when you bump into this person it's going to feel like you know this person or have known this person you know this is like positive movements forward also is what i'm getting wow you got a lot of cards that flew out and we have happy and this says renewal and that is the number 25, which is seven. So this is someone that will be mustering up the strength, the courage, being more assertive, confident, building up that confidence, that strength, and that wisdom, that wise dome. So the cards that flew out is we have understanding. See that? So someone's learning to, you know, understand not only themselves, because you have to, like I said, love is an inside job. You got to love yourself before you can extend love to anyone else. So that's why this person is taking the time to heal. Because perhaps they had to walk away from their own love partnerships because they realized that whoever they was with wasn't speaking their love language. So this is someone that has learned to love themselves. They've gained an understanding, understanding, overstanding, omni-standing of what love is, their love language. Next, we have wisdom. See that? So this person sees that you've grown wiser. This person is aware because this is the energy for how they feel about you. And that 8-8 eight, eight, that breaks down to 16, that's 7. That 7 in this numerology deck is personal healing. So this is how this person, I mean personal growth. So this person does see that you have been growing. You've been evolving. That double 4-4, four, four, they too have been doing the same because they're matching your energy and your vibration even with the number 8. Because they're number 26, you're number 44, and you're number 71. So this shows whoever you're attracting to you, this positive energy that I'm getting, not the karmic person. You know, the karmic could be literally stressing because they see that you're coming into union with someone whose heart is open just as much as yours or someone who's ready to love just as much as you are. And this person sees how wise you are. Remember that, that song that was playing earlier? It was, um, let me show you. I can show you better than I can tell you. And that was um, change on me. Remember, someone um, felt like you changed on them. And you changed on them because you grew, you evolved, you're not the same person, you matured, you healed even, you know, this happy, this is about healing, that 8 and 8 breaks down to 16, which is 7, this is the number 7 also, 25 is 7, so that's the personal healing card, and I like to show, improve, so let me show you the personal healing card, so you know what I'm saying, is actual factuals. And I'm not just talking because I have lips. See that? Personal growth. And remember, 8 and 8, 44, that card that, that's under how this person feels about you in 71, 8, that's 16. 16 breaks down to 7. This is the personal healing. And they also feel like you're wise. This is wisdom. Remember I was saying that you've reached that level of self-mastery. You know what I'm talking about? So this is how they feel about you, Pisces. So what we have hidden is we have order and peace. So you are creating this order in your life because you have gotten rid of anything that was toxic. You're no longer putting up with toxic relationships, toxic people. You're no longer putting up with that energy. You're creating order and peace. Like I said, by maintaining this positive um, outlook on life, by even forgiving those who have hurt you, this is what's aligning you with 
people that are meant to be in your life. What you have for the outcome is we have justice. You're getting your just due. I can't make this up. I literally said that. So walking away from codependent relationships has led to you receiving justice, karmic justice. You know, this is Mama Ma'a. She has everyone's address. I'm sorry, this is segment, but she brings in the justice as well. So you're getting your just due. And this is because you've changed. You would not be getting this had you not made the necessary change and transform Pisces. So it's like you're getting your just due. Everything will be handled fairly and justly. And I feel like this is like, you know, even you gaining that epiphany and that uh, awareness that your independence has been the foundation for you, you know, obtaining that, that stability and that security in your overall happiness in your life. So this is beautiful. This is a beautiful message, Pisces. I hope the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like button. Please smash that uh, subscription button. Grow the Soul Tribe Soul Family. If you are interested in getting a personal reading, check the description box. Follow that link to my Etsy shop and you can book your consultation there with me. I offer uh, an emergency reading, a one hour reading, and a two hour deep dive. Um, and you could all, you could do that all at my Etsy shop. But thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, send a big fat ashe out. Peace.